So for vine supporting and basically train our vine around to make sure that our two leaves are on either side of the string. So leaf here, leaf here. And then we've got our flower truss here. And typically we would go to the open cluster and then support it on the leaf below that. But this truss here and is pretty young. So I'm gonna come down one and tie it in here. And then we'll have to make an adjustment next week after this goes through and finishes growing. Cause we generally wanna have between 12 and 18 inches between our vine clips. And so this is a little bit tight, but we'll pick this one up and move it next week after this plant grows a little bit more. We're gonna go through and determine where we need to put our vine clip. So when we're determining that, we go through and we find our flower cluster, and then we wanna to come to the leaf that is below that. Where the vine clip hinges, that's gonna be what goes around our string to support the weight and gets clipped around directly underneath that leaf. And then we're training that string the behind and in between the leaves so that, that string does not interfere with the flower cluster. So now we need to add our J hook, which is our truss support. So if we don't give this truss any support as these tomatoes grow and get bigger and heavier, it's gonna cause this stem to kink, which is then gonna limit our flow of water and nutrients to the fruit. So to be able to support those, we go through and we take this J hook, it's connected onto the truss, and then it comes back here and gets hooked onto the string offers some support so this doesn't get pulled down and kinked by the weight of the fruit. We take our J-hook, we come in here underneath there, bring it back, support the fruit, and put it on like so, so that the fruit's gone and supported. So again, we take our J-hook, put it on our vine here for support, bring it back to our string, and clip it on.